Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely farmhouse inspired kitchen scale for your Barbie dolls and doll houses. This miniature kitchen scale is made entirely out of paper and as usual I have templates to help you make one for your own doll house. You'll find a link to the free printable one at the end of this video and the Cricut or Silhouette digital version is in my shop. But let's jump right into it. We're gonna start by making the base of the scale. To build the inner structure, I used cardstock from old food packaging because this kind of cardstock is thicker than craft cardstock and typically we all have lots of it at home. Cut this part several times. Glue together three or four layers at a time until you have four groups overall. Each group should be approximately three millimeters thick. Now cut this part into cardstock. Then glue the four pieces we made earlier to this base. Start by attaching one piece at the very front, then another one at the back. And finally, place the remaining two at the center. At this point, you can cut this part and glue it at the top. The inner structure of our scale is ready. Now cut this part into cardstock, and I use regular cardstock for this. Wet the paper with a bit of water to make it softer and easier to bend. Then glue it over one side of the scale's base, pressing it carefully against the inner structure to make sure it doesn't wrinkle. Repeat this step for the opposite side. Cut away the excess paper and smooth out the edges using sandpaper or a nail file. And just a reminder, you'll find the download link to the free printable template at the end of this video and the digital versions are available in my shop linked in the description box. At this point, we can already begin to add a few details to the scale surface. Cut this little strip into regular cardstock, wet it with water and glue it all around the base of the scale. Next, cut this part twice. Glue each piece to one side of the scale. Then cut this part and glue it on top of the scale. Use a piercing tool or a drill to pierce a hole at the center of the scale's top. Now we're gonna need a toothpick. I suggest using one with a carved end since they are a bit prettier, but a normal toothpick will do just fine. Measure the toothpick against the body of the scale and cut away the excess part. I've noticed that the end of this type of toothpick is a little rounded, so I sanded it to make it flat. Put just a drop of white glue into the hole in the scale, then slide the toothpick into it. If you want, you can glue a small bead in front of the toothpick. While the glue is drying, let's assemble the scales tray. Cut this part into cardstock twice and glue the two layers together. Put some glue into the hole, then attach the tray to the toothpick. Cut this part into paper or lightweight cardstock and glue it over the tray. To add a nice three-dimensional touch to the tray, cut this part and glue it to the top of the tray. Next, cut this circle into cardstock and glue it to the front of your little kitchen scale. At this point, we can color our miniature scale. To achieve this sort of vintage look, color the entire surface with black acrylic paint and let it dry. Then, rub a candle or a wax-based crayon over the edges of the scale. Let the wax set for a few seconds, then apply a second layer of paint over the entire surface. Now use clear nail polish or a clear varnish to give the scale a glossy finish. When the nail polish is dry, use a nail file to gently scrub off the exterior paint and reveal the black color underneath. Now let's make the face of the scale. Print and cut this part. Then glue it onto the kitchen scale's front. Use a needle tool or a small drill bit to pierce a hole at the center of the scale's face. Then cover it with clear nail polish to make it look shinier. Now cut this part into cardstock. I use metallic watercolors to give it a bronze-like finish. Then take a sewing pin and cut it to a length of approximately half a centimeter. Place the scale's hand on the scale. Then fix it in place with a sewing pin. It should rotate easily. Our miniature farmhouse inspired kitchen scale is ready. 
As promised, here's the link to the free printable template and if you're interested in the SVG and Silhouette Studio files, there's a link to my shop in the description box. And by the way, I suggest you watch this playlist for more tutorials on Mintra Kitchen Appliances. And this is all for today's video. Until next time, bye!